So now let us talk about power pivot. So from this top panel here, you will click on this pivot table option. And once you do that, you will have the multiple options and we are going to pick up the first one that is pivot table. So let us click there and it is now asking me that where it should be adding the pivot table. So I will say new worksheet in the same Excel file and I will click on OK. And you can see we have the new Excel uh, sheet here within the same file. We have the new sheet uh, with this pivot table for, uh, structure. Now one thing that I should be doing is that I just need to bring that to my corner. So I'll select this one and I will delete this. And similarly, I will delete these two rows from the top. And now I have my pivot table in the corner. Now one thing that you should notice is you can see here we have all of our four tables that we had added to our data model. So we have calendar, chart of accounts, TBL, GL and territory. Uh, just keep in mind one thing that you have two options here. The first one is all the, op all the tables that are available. The second option is the active one. So in case you don't see any table here, you can check if you are on the active tab. So active, since we have not deployed any table here at the moment, there is nothing appearing on the active table, but we can see all of them in all in this option where we can see all the tables. Okay, so let us start uh, deploying our pivot table here and let us prepare a simple report. First of all, in the values option, in this values pane here, I want to see my values and you know values were available in the GL uh, table. So I will go to my GL and I will go to this amount option. I will drag it down into the values here. And now you can see that values have been populated. And one thing I would like to do is that I want to change this value with a comma separation. So I will go here in this option and the drop down, I will click there and I will say value field settings. And in this value field setting, I will say number format. And in this number format, I will click on number and I will say no decimal and I will say please use comma separator and click OK and again click OK. So this is this is how we apply the formatting on our value our value field. So please make sure that you are not applying the formatting from these options here on the home tab because you know that will be applicable on one cell only. With this we have you know applied the value field settings on this particular amount. Now if you put it on any different cell in Excel this formatting will remain. And one more thing that you must have noticed is once we, we were working on the value field settings, you can see that we have multiple options. So we could have chosen the sum so we can instruct pivot table to pick up all the values and sum them up. We could also use count. We could also use average, max, min, standard deviation and you know these dis dis distinct count and other options as well. So don't worry, we will be adding a lot more options than this one as well. So we will have to use the text language to create any other calculation that is not covered in this list here and other than this value you can do one more thing and that is you know we can uh, apply some kind of calculations for example we can pick up the percentage of grand total or row total so once we have the data here you can see what does that mean uh, what does that mean of percentage of grand total or column total or row total so i will just delay it for a moment and i will go back to the summarize values by and you can quickly see that this is the sum of all the GL values, but you could also pick up the count or average or min or max or distinct count or a standard deviation. So I will stick to sum for now and I will click OK. Now I don't want to see this field all together. I want to split this field by you know different parameters and with that parameter you can simply go to this territory as well and you can pick up you know country and your system will break down the data for the country as well so if i do that you can see that now your values are broken down by these options of you know uh, for for each country it has been broken down and if you want to see the columns you want to split your value into the columns you can do that as well so for example i want to split my values of 2018 19 and 20. so i will go to this calendar field here and i will say uh, you can drag down the year directly or you can you know bring in the date and then create the hierarchy we will be doing that in a minute so you can see that now Excel has quickly broken down all the data into different uh, columns and each column is you know for each year so we can quickly change the data here and finally 
we can also apply filters so all of this data can be filtered and if i can show you that so if i go to chart of accounts you can see that we have a report option there so there were two reports profit and loss account and the balance sheet and there was one third type that was adjusting and i told you that we will get rid of that after you know once we have covered the main areas of the course so i will bring this report into the filter and once you do that you can see that we have this uh, option uh, added here and if I click on this drop down, if I click on this all option, you can see we have three options adjusting balance sheet or profit and loss. So if I just click on profit and loss and click OK, now you can see that my values have been, you know, uh, reduced. All my values have been uh, the values have changed. So now this this table here is only presenting you the P&L values. And you know, if you net off all the PL values, I mean the positive values of income and the negative values of expenses, if you net them off, that the closing figure is actually the net profit. So we can say that these values are basically net profits. So before I move forward, I also need to show you some formatting options, and one of them is to you know get rid of these grand totals. And for that, I will go to this option pivot table analyze not analyze sorry pivot table design and i will go to this grand total option here and now you can choose if you want to see your grand total or no so off for rows and columns on for rows and columns only for rows and only for columns so for now i will say please off it for both rows and columns and you can see that we don't have any subtotals now and you can we don't have any grand totals now and we can also work with subtotals but at this moment within my matrix there is no subtotal already so i will be showing you later on when we have subtotals in our data so that is a quick demonstration that how our pivot table uh, our power pivot table works and how you can simply drag down your fields to bring in uh, the you know uh, fields from all of those different tables that are available in your data to you know uh, summarize your data to slice your data and to prepare the reports now from the next lecture we are going to work on a specific report and that is going to be our profit and loss account so let us start that